What's up, gang? It's your boy, Mr. Talk About It, and I'm back with another video. So, you know, I know it's been a while since I dropped some lit sauce, but I'm here with some lit sauce today. So, as you see by the title, I'm about to tell you how to use X. Next day. So basically, this is a website where you can order checks. It already has the magnetic account number and route number printed on the back. So if you have personal checks, menu business checks that come with the, the little receipt thing, or the loan checks. Those are the popular ones. They also sell other things. You feel me? But we're going to get these checks. And you want to get, you always want to get the checks that come with three on the page. You know what I mean? So you'll get the checks that come on three on the page. Now, right here, the security don't really mean anything. It don't really mean it, it just makes it look prettier. So if you want to take the cheap route, you'll go to regular. If you want it to look prettier, you will stay with more security. Mind you, you get 100 checks, you don't get this. So we're going to keep it regular just to keep the price low. So that's $50 for 100 checks. And they're going to look like this. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Check the following ground, shipping, arrival. Nah, we don't want, we don't want that much. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna pick the color now. So this is all the different colors. You feel me? This is all the different colors. Different colors. So we want it to look real legit. We're gonna try that blue one, you feel me? Now we got the appearance of the checks lit. Still fifty dollars. Now here's where you would enter the routing number on a check. So where you would get the routing number is basically up to you. If you have your own business and you want to pay your payrollies or your employees, I meant you will put the routing number that's on your bank account. You would type that right here. I'm not telling nobody to do this for fraud and steal nobody's checks. And I mean, don't take nobody payroll check. Copy the information down on this website because that is illegal. That is extremely illegal. That's a no no. I'm showing you how to use this website. So use it right. So you'll put the routing number there. You'll put the account number there. And as you see, as you type, it pops up on the check. I'm just typing in the number. You will confirm the same thing here. You feel me? Okay. And that's the name of the bank. Let's say Chase is the name of the bank. Now you wanna whatever you wanna make sure that you you type it capital Chase in a I believe that's how it is. You feel me? So line two. We'll leave line two blank. Line three. You will leave line three blank. So yeah, for this part be the address of the bank or the place. You will use both of these lines. Always remember. First lines must be bold. So, I mean, just anything. You know, just you know the address. You know how to, you know what I mean? Just make it look like the check. You need to check before. So then you'll go to continue. I kind of figure this will happen. I kind of figure this will happen. Well, let's just try. Damn. Let's just put anything right here. It says nine, two, three, four, five. Six. Nine. No, that it wasn't it. Okay, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay, boom. Okay, for the account number. 
we just gotta put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe that'll work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, booyah. We in there. Okay, we still at 50. Let's go. Okay, now we go to next. Okay. Okay, one of them. Okay, now this is important. Because whatever number you put here, this is the check number that's right here. So you don't want to print out no checks. Numbers already been printed out. Say you 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 making a check for five thousand. Let's just say five. The check number is five thousand. And it's already a check that's been printed. Five thousand. It's gonna automatically decline that check. Basically. So whenever you do it, you mean just make sure you know the count of the check. Just know the counts of the check always. We're gonna just put in one. Now you don't want no lines. And you're gonna see why you don't want no lines in part two. Extra signature, now nah, we don't need that. Leave everything how it is, everything how it is. Then you add it to your card. Now, if you want, what you will need also is a signature stamp. Now, the signature stamp basically stamp signature in the stamp signature spot. You feel me? But I'm gonna just ignore that right now. Go to the cart. So you really, you literally get these checks the next day. And this hour right here will let you know when you have until the checks will, will be printed, will be sent out. Like you literally get your checks the next day. Oh, snap. Yeah. Once you go to check out, $50 gets you 100 checks. You don't even have to be a customer. You can just check out as guests. So, I, shouldn't, I mean, I really shouldn't have to really go too much for. Just to show you what you gotta do. So after you click on check out guest or register, whatever, you fill out your uh, um, put your card information, you put the address that you want your checks to be sent to, and you will wait. So all the wait is all the way a waiting game now. Trust me, you're gonna you won't wait longer than 48 hours, I promise you. I guarantee. You. Mind you, do not go stealing nobody's check information. Cause that's fraud. This is for people who has their own business and you want to pay your employees. You would take your routing and accounting number. You would not take no one else's routing and accounting number and check number off of their check because that is fraud and that is illegal and you will go to jail. This is part one of the video. I hope it was successful. I hope it helps you guys and your businesses. And it's your boy Mr. Talk About It. Going for part two.